Hi everyone, welcome to Test Prep Training. In this video you will learn about some commonly asked questions in ClickSense Business Analyst. So let's get started. Question number 1. A data architect adds a field to an existing data model that contains new values for the product group. The business analyst needs to efficiently update the app and meet these requirements. 1. Use the existing charts, which are built using a master item dimension called product group. 2. Existing charts must use the new values for product group. 3. Business users must be able to compare the new and old values. How should the business analyst meet these requirements? Your options are A. Change the product group dimension using the new field, and create a new dimension in the master items for the old field. B. Create a calculated dimension on the charts, to allow the users to compare the new value to the old value. C. Replace the dimensions on all charts to use the new product group field added to the data model. D. Use set analysis on the chart measures to see the difference in product group between the new field, and the old field. The correct answer is, option D. Question number 2. A business analysis must create new master items for quarterly calendar measures, with company-specific conventions based on 1. The date field and the sum of sales. 2. The new master items will calculate QTD sales, current QTD sales, last QTD sales, current quarter sales, year current quarter sales, and last quarter sales. Which three steps should the business analyst take to meet these requirements? Choose three. Your options are A. Right click the date field in the assets panel and select create calendar measures. B. Right click the sales field in the, in the assets panel and select create calendar measures. C. Select date, sales, sum, and quarterly. D. Sales to master items, rename master items. The correct answers are option A, B, and C. Question number 3 A business analyst is building a dashboard to track customer loyalty. The app has several requirements. 1. A table that shows the total number of purchases by customer. 2. A scatter plot that shows the correlation between the number of purchases and total spent by customer. 3. A bar chart that shows the top 5 customers by sales. Which two measures should the business analyst use to meet these requirements? Choose 2. Your options are A. Customer ranking B. Number of purchases C. Purchase amount D. Number of products the correct answers are, option B, and C. Question number 4, a client wants to see a bar chart with a single measure in three dimensions, region, product category, and month. The business analyst creates a bar chart with the measure, sum, revenue. Which final step should the business analyst take to complete the chart? Your options are, A. Add region, product category, and month as three different dimensions. B. Create a single master dimension with region, product category, and month. C. Add region as a dimension, add product category and month as alternate dimensions. D. Create a cyclic group with region, product category, and month as dimensions. The correct answer is, option C. Question number 5. A large organization with more than 100 departments wants to raise money for a donation in the next 30 days. This year, leadership decides to increase employee participation through a competition. Team members of departments that raise $10,000 or more receive two additional holidays. Leadership needs the following capabilities. 1. Ability to view the total donation amount. 2. Ability to identify departments that raise $10,000 or more. Which two visualizations should the business analyst use without set analysis to meet these requirements? Choose 2. Your options are A. Pie chart B. Box plot C. Bar chart D. KPI The correct answers are, option C, and D. Question number 6, a business analyst is building an app for a customer. The customer wants to be able to 1. Show role level transaction details 2. Access an overview of the most important numbers 3. Analyze data how should the business analyst order the sheets to meet these requirements? Your options are A. 1. Dashboard, sheet for the overview. 2. Report, sheet for the role level details. 3. Analysis, sheet for the analysis. B. 1. 
Analysis, Sheet for the Analysis. 2. Dashboard, Sheet for the Overview. 3. Report, Sheet for the Role Level Details. C. 1. Report, Sheet for the Role Level Details. 2. Dashboard, Sheet for the Overview. 3. Analysis, Sheet for the Analysis. D. 1. Dashboard, Sheet for the Overview. 2. Analysis, Sheet for the Analysis. 3. Report, Sheet for the Role Level Details. The correct answer is, Option C. Question number 7. A retailer with 300 locations worldwide needs to analyze its workforce to prepare for its next board meeting. The two most important items to the board members are total compensation and number of employees by city. Which visualization should a business analyst use to meet this requirement? Your options are A. Scatter plot B. Bar chart C. Pivot table D. Map The correct answer is, option B. Question number 8. A business analyst wants to develop a ClickSense app, with some key performance indicators on the dashboard. The analyst decides to use two KPI objects to represent key metrics for the organization. Which two measures should the business analyst use to meet these requirements? Choose two. Your options are A. Margin by region B. Number of products by customer C. Number of customers D. Number of products sold The correct answers are, option C, and D. Question number 9. A business analyst must adjust, and create new visualizations on a published app in ClickSense Enterprise. The changes need to be made very quickly. Which two actions can the business analyst perform in the app on the hub? Choose two. Your options are A. Duplicate sheets to edit visualizations B. Create new sheets and visualizations C. Add data to the app D. Create and edit master items The correct answers are, option A, and C. Question number 10. A business analyst needs to create an app showing sales data. The app requirements are as follows. 1. Compare sales for the current year, Psi sales, versus last year, Lee sales. 2. Psi sales must always be displayed in blue. 3. Lee sales must always be displayed in yellow. Which steps should the business analyst take to meet these requirements? Your options are A. 1. Create a KPI with two measures, Psi sales and Lee sales. 2. Write an if expression to set the appropriate colors for each measure. B. 1. Create Psi sales and Lee sales measures as master items. 2. Write an if expression to set the appropriate colors for the master items. C. 1. Create size sales and lease sales measures as master items, and set the required color for each measure. 2. Create one KPI from the two master item measures. D. 1. Create size sales and lease sales measures as master items, and set the required color for each measure using value colors. 2. Create two gauges. One for each measure and set the color for each appropriately. The correct answer is, option B. For more such videos, subscribe to our channel.